All right, now we have the two pieces done. You can see they're slightly bowed on both sides. And the next thing we're going to do is we're going to give them a light sanding. Uh, now they are completely done, except for the another light sanding. We're going to go ahead and go back with the 320. Uh, for this particular type of metal, this being uh, German silver, 320 will be fine. And we're going to give them a light sanding, and then we're going to make the loops. 320 paper. Over the tops. And after it's soldered and cleaned a little bit more, these will be ready for the buffing machine. And as you can see, it's starting to come along. Uh, I do like to use a block of wood or something to rest it on when I'm doing the insides because now it has a slight cup in it. Okay, now we're ready to go ahead and uh, cut the material for our loops. What I've done is I've taken my ruler, uh, basically it's a T-square, and I've gone ahead and marked a fine strip of the same material, and I'm going to go ahead and cut a fine strip of it, about, uh, about a sixteenth of an inch wide, uh, about an uh, inch and uh, three quarters, two inches long. Uh, I'm going to use the big bulldog pliers to cut it. Again, because that's uh, 16 gauge metal. We'll be cutting on the line. Now as you can see, the strip that we've cut is all deformed. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take our anvil and a mallet and we're going to flatten that out. Again, we don't want to mar it, so we're going to use a rawhide mallet. I'm going to go ahead and bend this a little bit with my hands. They say your hands are your best bending instruments anyway. And now that I've got it straight, both sides, I'm going to go ahead and take a file, as you would imagine my favorite file, and I'm just going to break the cut edge because it won't have a nice flat shear like you'd cut it with a shear. Uh, the snips do a good job, but they you don't get a nice crisp 90 degree cut usually I don't know, it's, uh, you get something different and a nice file will, will knock off those edges that you don't want and if there are any imperfections in the cut let's say you don't make the cut dead on 100% the file will take off the little high spots and it actually make it actually make the line straighter. <laughs> 